Hey, what's up, guys? Well, what's up, Wolfpack? So, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about my mini bike. So, it's a new one. The blue one never really got finished. We got the frame and stuff, but I never really like started putting it together. So, we got this one, which is the X8, and this one is what I call Little Savage. You can see it all over. You got Savage, and then you got Little Savage up here. And, um, yeah. And then got a little up here, with a little apostrophe. But, yeah. So, this is a little savage. Um, it's not little, it's little, as you can see. And, uh, this is vinyl. So, it basically has a lot more stuff that a black one didn't have. So, it has uh, a battery gauge up here. You'll see it when we turn the key on. And then it's got the, uh, the speed gauge that you got the turn signal thing and the horn. So this these these things will light up when one of your turn signals are on, and this one will light up if you're pressing the horn, which you'll probably hear just really freaking loud. And then this is a little gas tank. It was looking pretty cool. And then you got, of course, the X8. Did we get the R8 off the side though? No. Um, but yeah, then it's got a choke here. Oh, then you got my GoPro mount that's not included with it. I was making videos on it. Um, yeah. You'll also see a couple of kids jump out in front of me when my one video is posted from the GoPro. Uh, so, then we got the little foot pegs that pop out. You got the kickstand, normal, normal little things. Got the chrome plating over top of the frame. And let's turn it on. So now it's on. Here. Look at this thing right here. If you watch this this one gauge right here turn it on it goes up so basically it's basically telling you that it's almost at full battery uh, so I'm not gonna press the horn but I will show you the turn signals it does beep it's gonna scare me and if you look up here so the turn signal works if you look up here see if you look up here that beeps that one beeps We got this thing. So watch this thing right here. That's my headlight. It's pretty nice. It's on. I'm gonna show you the brake. So yeah, pretty cool. It's a pretty little, pretty nice little bag. If your bike. If you're wondering why it's called Little Savage, it's because it really is a little savage. It goes really quick. It goes more than 40 miles an hour, which is what it shows on the gauge. It's pretty sick. I like that. It's very blinding though. And then you got like the fenders and yada yada yada. So this is modeled after the Gixxer 600. Nasty! <laughs> like, not like as in like, like it's disgusting, like it's a really bad bike, but like it's nasty. like fast and gnarly sounding you'll hear it in my videos but yeah oh god this is i'm right next to it too <laughs> hold up i'm gonna stand up ready beep yep it's really it's really loud so the horn is loud but my dual exhaust is not as loud as the mini black one but it is really nice. See, the other one, the reason why it's taking so long is because we try to make a mold with metal plating to try to figure out, like, because the other one had, like, a crack. Before we took everything apart, and it looked like this one, but it was, like, it's blue. The frames are sitting up there. It's blue, but it had, like, cracks open the windshield, and it was, like, really flappy up here. And basically not rideable, kind of. Even though the windshield doesn't do much but protect this from any type of water damage or anything which that didn't work well it was just sitting a little bit so everything's a little bit rusted but basically my dad tried to make a um a mold with a piece of metal and then he took plastic and basically put it in the oven over top of it so that it would kind of mold and it didn't really come out because it was like kind of weird the first time 
and then it was a little bit smoother the next time, but we thought that the little ripples that this one has, like this is factory, the little ripples that this one had was um was bad and like air pockets. But no, this one has it too, and this one's straight up factory, so I guess we did it right the second time. So basically, we're gonna get new fairing bolts, so they're not gonna be rusty anymore, although it kind of matches the bike. But it's not gonna be rusty, they're gonna be brand new and all shiny. And the reason why we got this one instead of finishing up that one was because this one, for one, it's the newer version, and two, it was already like put together and everything was like perfectly fine with it. It just had a little bit touch ups that we needed. And three, it's nice and looking. <laughs> I, I like this one's model a lot better because I really like this one because it looks like the uh, the enemy from like you know like Bumblebee's tribe like it's all like the nice um, transformers. So the other one had like two little bulbs and the two little bulbs for the turn signal that was like uh, this one that's the one that we borrowed it off of. Uh, we borrowed these little yellow things off of that one. So basically we're gonna get LED conversion so like the lights are gonna be replaced with like LEDs. And underglows for it, so like we're gonna put like some like in the wheels because like they're sticky kind of thing. They're like LEDs with like the sticky thing, so you can like match them up and like put them in there. And then, yeah, after the underglows, um, the reason why we're using LEDs is because it's it takes up less battery as a bike and it's brighter. So, here's a few videos of me. like subscribe and make sure to become a wolf pack creator keep howling till next time